Hey everyone, um, welcome back. So half of my room is done, half of it is not, but I wanted to get this in real quick because um, my body's feeling so much better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys this really fun uh, flip book. So it's super easy, but you know, I like to just show you guys different ways. Um, I just put a little pocket here, which I'm gonna give you measurements for here. It's just a simple envelope. And I believe this is an A2 size envelope. So for those of you who don't have an A2 envelope, I'm going to make a separate video after this and post it so you guys can make um, this size if you need it. But I figured most people would, so I didn't want to put it in the video. And then here I just have a simple side pocket with it. And I made this like, um, just like a waterfall sleeve thingy. <laughs> So that is it, and it's so thin, so you can mail it as flat mail. Uh, just another really fun idea to send to your pen pals and things, or just, you know, make a little album for at home. So we'll go ahead and get started. So today is actually Memorial Day, and I am posting this. Um, you know, we can't really do anything, but I guess we just, it's just a thought that matters. So today I'm gonna to be using a uh, Flourish, which is older, but I found a lot of my die cuts and I was like, oh, when I was, you know, taking my room apart. So I'm like, I'm definitely gonna use that. So the cover and the back is going to be two six by six papers and we're gonna score it at a half an inch each. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick these. This is six by six and another six by six, okay? So when you're doing your, um, book you want to make sure you score it at the um because especially if you have a design you want to make sure you look at this and not score it the wrong way so when we score it a half an inch this is going to be right here so i'm going to score my half inch right there just to make sure that your print isn't um the wrong way so this is half an inch Okay, and then this is gonna be my back cover. So my back cover, I want um, this side to be my fold. So I'm gonna flip it upside down. So just make sure you have that the right way. going to be like this so before we do that we need our envelope and today I'm going to be using this one which is uh, from the paper studio from Hobby Lobby and here's the measurements it is a2 and like I said I'm going to make a tutorial for this on another video posting so let me go ahead and pick an envelope Okay, so this is gonna be my front page. So all I did was take my envelope and literally just um, the line to where the fold is right here, you just wanna glue it right there. And then you're just gonna have your little easy flip pocket. It's just a fun, different way to make your, um, you know, flip book. Instead of just creating pockets, maybe just have some envelopes laying around. It doesn't even have to be this size. It could be any size. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And then it's going to show in the back right here. And you're going to have that little fold. And you can just do that fold like this. So I'm just going to glue down. So right there is your just your little envelope pocket. Now, um, <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and take your other piece and just glue it on like this. So it has that little flip. And 
And you could even um, do it that way if you want. But I'm just going to do it this way. So right on the envelope. And you're going to have your front page and then that flip. Too simple. Okay, so now we're going to do our cover in the front. Oops, sorry, getting all my papers together. I love how the room is turning out, you guys. It's super simple, but it's definitely my style, so I hope you guys like it when I show it. So the cover is going to be five and a half by six inches. I'll leave that there for a second in case someone needs to write it. And I already have a piece cut out right here. And you're just going to simply glue it down on the cover just to cover that, you know, envelope flap right there. And you can layer this up and make it a big album if you want, but I wanted to make something just really flat for a flat now. I have so many tutorials um, I've written down that I want to do. I can't wait to get this situated so I can get back in here. Okay, so right there we have our like flip box. So if you don't need um, any of those other measurements for everything else I'm about to do, it's too easy. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and make the uh, the coin envelope. And I've gave these measurements before on another flip book, but since we're doing this together, it's probably just okay to go ahead and do it again. So for our next coin pouch that's gonna fit this, and this is perfect for any six by um, any six by six album. This is gonna be six by six paper. Okay, and this is gonna be our score lines. So we're gonna start, okay. We're gonna start with the lid. This is gonna be the lid here. So the lid is gonna always be like three fourths of an inch on this. Okay, this, and then your next score is gonna be at five and a half, and that's gonna be your bottom. I like doing it that way because then you can see where your image is. Okay, then you can flip it and score it at half an inch. And three and one fourth of an inch. Okay, now we're gonna do our cutting. So your top is going to be the top, uh, the larger half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these two boxes off. Okay, and I'm just gonna make my little um, line right here. And I'm gonna cut this little square off. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this off right here. Now we're just gonna go ahead and fold up our stuff. cut off this little bottom piece and just so it doesn't stick out on me okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this inside because that's how I'd like mine to look and then fold this on the outside 
And then I'm gonna corner punch my top because I just like that look. You can leave yours. is just not cutting it these days and I didn't add a string on this just to make it quick I just need uh, my round punch so this is gonna be half an inch Setting a little hole punch in there. Now I'm looking for Brad. I think I'll do blue because there's some blue going on in this album. And I'm just going to eyeball it and poke it right through. Okay, so there's our envelope right there. just tape that down. I'm going to put a little uh, Velcro closure on here for now just to keep it closed. Okay, I'm just going to add some tape on here or you can glue it. I just feel like tape is more stable for this kind of an envelope, if, especially if you tuck things inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down. And I did put a little background picture on mine. You can do that or you don't have to. And then, um, let me see. decoration just put a little tag on the front of mine so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there I'm gonna use some blue dots to speed this up let's see if there's a prettier tag than that too but this a while ago I just added one of those um, like file tab strips and I sewed it on there and I don't know I just thought it was fun to add when you make things because it was just a plain die so it just added a little fun to it let's see if I can fit this in there it's sort of sealed is this too big for it no okay so I'll just go ahead and put that in there and then the next page. Get some of this out of my way. My desk is smaller now, so I'm learning to work with it. Okay, so on this side here, I made a little um, like folder side or pocket thing. Okay, so that's going to be five and three quarters by two and a quarter. So that's just going to go right here. And you don't have to put this here, but it's just adding a little pocket for you. Okay, 
and I don't put it on that tab. Make sure you put it like right after the, the little tab thingy. Okay, so right there's your other little pocket. So, I just clip something on to make it pretty. Tag, but that's too big. Oh, here's some ticket things. You know what? But I think I'll put the tag aside. And I think I'll just clip that there. Okay, and then the last thing is just the waterfalls. So these are easy. I did it with my other method. All we're gonna do is take um, <clears throat> the sheets here that I, that I used. They were already cut, so I'm just gonna give you the measurement of what I have. They're three and a half by four inches. And I use these little tabs here. So I cut out four of them, actually I have three. I just have a little uh, acetate paper in there too. But I'm cut out four of these, so one, two, actually I'm just gonna use three. Okay, and then our little tabs that I like to use are gonna be one by four inch and we're gonna score it a half an inch. You're basically just folding in half. It's these little strips. I, it's kind of like the, um, the unicorn album that I did. So we're gonna go ahead and do these. I'm just gonna score them a half an inch or just fold it down in half. Oh, actually I only need three of these. We're doing three. And, okay, let me show you. So yes, you could absolutely, that's why I cut this extra one, I wanted to show you guys. So you don't have to make this, if you, like I didn't wanna ruin this picture, that's why I made these tabs. If you don't have a picture like that, simply go take your little um, paper or your, your piece and just fold it like that and then you can glue it on. But because I didn't want to ruin this image, that's why I created these tabs. So if you just glue it on like that, go ahead and do that. But because I did it this way, this is how I have to do it. And I'm going to show you guys. So I just, and you can have it showing or not showing. So let me just glue it on one of my papers. I just feel like it flips a little better this way too. So I go ahead and glue that on. And I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna do this with all of them. And I just eyeball it. And I'm gonna go ahead and push it down. So you have that flip right there. And I'm gonna do it with all three. just eyeball where I put it just a little bit down kind of like right here so it has that layer effect and last one This is just a fun, easy album though, right? Just to think outside the box. Okay, I totally glued that down a little too low, but that's okay. 
And this is my third row. So, hello. So, let's see here. This is our cover. And then our little coin envelope. It's just a simple envelope. And then another pocket. And then your little flip album. Now, like I said, if you want to do this, keep layering and layering and layering. And you can build a nice album. But this one is going to be perfect for flat mail. Especially if you don't have to add any of these, like, you don't have to add that brad there just to keep it more flat. Um, or you can just like cut the top off and make it a pocket. Just simple, fun things. But I hope you guys like this. Just fun, really pretty, simple album. And I thought you guys would enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video for this envelope now. So it's a standard A2, but I don't think I have that on here. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. All right. Thanks, guys.